Whoa! Power sword! Alright, monsters, you're going down! Dragon sword armor, power up! Alright, monsters, you're going down! Alright! Alright! It's not that easy to get rid of me, ugly! That's right! Armored Red Ranger, final strike! Power Rangers! Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today, we're taking a look at a Legacy Collection Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Armored Red Ranger. It's a GameStop exclusive. The Armored Red Ranger is going to be one of the last Rangers we get in the Bandai Legacy Collection. The back of the package shows off some of the Psycho Rangers. I have had zero luck finding them in my area. I love this line. It's one of the things that I'm kind of the saddest about Bandai losing this license, but I am excited uh, oh, about what we might get from Hasbro. I'm very hesitant because I'm worried we're just going to get a rehash of the most popular figures, which means more six rangers, more red rangers, but no full teams, and that's what was cool about this set. Uh, but I just picked up the awesome GameStop exclusive red ranger, uh, the, the armored red ranger. He's got Tommy's dragon shield on. Whoops, huh. <laughs> getting out of shot there. He's got the dragon dagger, he's got the power sword. Very shiny and chrome looking, pretty cool. I've, I've actually checked GameStop a few times trying to find him, uh, but I'm very excited to finally get to open him up. Here we've got the Legacy Collection Armored Red Ranger out of the package. If you're familiar with the Legacy Collection Rangers, you kind of know what's going on here. Basically, we're getting the standard Red Ranger figure, but he's got the torso and upper arms of the Green Ranger, so he appears to have the dragon shield on, which is great. Uh, it was a very cool and exciting part of the Power Rangers storyline. This figure is very nice. I'm glad they released them. It's it's a kind of a cheap repaint type figure, so it's sort of an obvious one for them to do. Uh, but it's great fun to have in your collection. The Red Ranger features a ball joint at the neck. He's got nicely sculpted and painted details on his head. I really like the shiny gold paint they used for the Dragon Shield. It's got the straps sculpted in down here as well as on his arms. He has nice shoulder articulation. It is hindered somewhat by the shoulder pads there. Uh, the, the armor is slightly flexible, but it definitely gets in the way. He's got double jointed elbows down here. He's got a glove swivel. He's got nice rocker joints at the wrist there that swivel all the way around. And he's got accessory holding hands that can hold both of his weapons. He's got an ab crunch at the center here. Below that, you can see he's got a holster for a blade blaster, the blade blaster is permanently in the folded up mode without the blade or the blaster mode. Fits in the white holster there. He's got the black holster on the other side, which can hold the dragon dagger. The dragon dagger feels slightly under scale to me. I'm not sure I didn't check any reference photos, but it just seems a little bit tiny in his hand. Uh, but that fits nicely on his waist. He's got his morpher with the Tyrannosaurus Rex coin there. Great hip joints. Luckily, the holsters move out of the way or just fall off altogether. Uh, they are pegged differently. The white holster has a larger peg than the black holster does. Uh, but yes, they move out of the way so he can get good range of motion there. He's got double jointed knees. He's got a swivel at the boot as well as really nice ankle articulation that moves side to side and front to back there. So just like the other Legacy Collection figures, there's really nice articulation. I am... Uh, I think the most disappointed about Bandai losing this brand because of these figures, although Hasbro has a really nice collection planned out, I just fear we're not going to get full teams from Hasbro, and that's what I thought was so great about the Legacy Collection. Taking a quick look at the standard Legacy Collection Red Ranger next to the armored one, you can see it's basically the same figure except for that torso mold. The armored version seems a little bit bulkier, the, the shoulders being so much bigger with the shoulder pads there does look different couple minor differences I noticed. This Red Ranger has white teeth on his helmet while this one has silver. And this guy has silver and gold paint on his belt buckle while this guy just has gold. Here's another look at that basic Blade Blaster weapon. 
This was standard with all of the Legacy Collection Mighty Morphin Rangers. It's red plastic with a little bit of white paint. Pretty basic, but it does complete the look of the Rangers when it's holstered there. It is kind of a shame we couldn't get a blaster mode or a blade mode with at least some of the figures. Here is the Dragon Dagger. I assume this is a remold of the one that came with the Green Ranger, although I did not take the time to dig out my Legacy Green Ranger to find out for sure. Like I said, it feels a little bit tiny when he's holding it in his hand, but the Dragon Dagger is pretty small. This has a lot of nice sculpted detail as well as great paintwork, and it fits in the black holster on the side of his belt. Lastly, we have the Power Sword molded again in red plastic. It has a silver painted blade, lots of gold details painted on, as well as a few small black ones. It looks pretty good, and I'm happy to get a Power Sword for a Legacy Collection Ranger since the original Rangers did not come with them. There were some reissues in metallic armor or metallic suits that came with the accessories instead of the Build-A-Figure parts, but uh, I don't really have all those Rangers, so I'm happy to get the Power Sword this way. Even though Bandai is pretty much officially done making Power Ranger toys, I still have quite a few Legacy Collection figures to review here on the channel, so I will be breaking those guys out over the next you know, few weeks and months as we look forward to seeing what the new line from Hasbro is going to be like. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.